vintage sound of quality GMC. Hello there, and by now you know who I am. I am Bravo Von Mueller, and I live in a vintage 1978 GMC motorhome. I have downsized. I am a baby boomer. I have one, I am one of the last baby boomers. My mother was born in 1939. She was the very first baby boomer. I was born in 62, and I am one of the last baby boomers. This video is very, very simple. I sold a lamp, a Jane and Gordon Martz lamp, for $400, and that means I get to eat for another couple weeks. And this video is I'm going to show you how I pack it up and ship it out. This is how you pack up a vintage mid-century modern cool lamp that you would sell on eBay for $400. Now, when I sold it for $400, that's giving it away. Most people have these things listed for one, two thousand dollars but I don't have that kind of time, so I gave it away for $400, like I said, so I can eat for the next two weeks. So let's pack it up. Okay, we have a, an old vintage mid-century modern lamp, ceramic. How are you going to wrap it up and ship it out? Number one, they don't, old lamps don't come with boxes, so you have to go to a furniture store or somewhere and rip off all the old tags. Okay, so well, if you're lucky with the box, you're gonna have some old packing material. Yeah, you got to do some dumpster diving. And this packing material came in the box. We're talking about a Jane and Gordon Martz lamp. Jane and Jordan Martz. Now these were made for, let's take a look. These were made for the Marshall Studio Lamp Company out of Indiana. Now how you know it's gonna be a Martz lamp is they signed it. You see it says Martz right there? Normally right where the wire comes out. Okay, so we're going to get the bubble wrap. We're gonna roll it up, tape it up, and the next time I talk to you, we'll be putting it in the box. Okay, so we taped it up. Leave yourself a little bit of area here, right here, some extra bubble wrap, and fold it over. Because the most important part is the ceramic bottom. Not so much the metal piece up here. I mean, we'll, we'll put some extra packing in the top. Fits in there pretty good, huh? We'll put some extra paper, like also in your packing material. When you find those boxes in the dumpster, don't throw that paper away. See that old paper? That comes in handy. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take my knife. I'm gonna cut up here, cut up here, all four sides. And we're gonna make this box a little smaller because this is way too tall, right? Okay, so we cut this off. We cut the four corners, you see. We're gonna cut these flaps off too because we don't, we, see how I cut the flap off here? We're not gonna need the flaps. But first, I wanna put, I already put a little bit of paper on the inside already. But we need a little extra on top. Like that. Push that down. And then we're going to push this one down. So I'm going to cut these, let me cut these flaps off. And it's ready to go. Okay, you notice that um, these sides are a little longer. So basically, these extra pieces, these extra pieces, you don't have to throw them away. You can, like packing material. So we can, first we put this down. Then we put that down. Then we put that down, look. And then, what you have to do, let me show you real quickly here. Okay, there we go. You take take this, this end here, the rough end, 
and just score it right across there. And then when you bend it, it bends easier, right? And then this extra piece just falls off. Now we look, we made a bigger box, a lot smaller, it won't cost as much. So, but the inflation, problem with the uh, shipping and inflation, this box is still probably, if you're going to go priority mail, which you want to be safe, it's probably going to cost $60 to send this. Yes, that's right. $50 to $60 to send this damn box. Well, that's the way it is with inflation.